uh, in my last uh, video, I explained uh, how the uh, PKI framework works. The keyword here is a, a digital signature. Where I give digital signature uh, to the, um, the vendor, so we trust uh, the vendor because we trust the uh, certificate authority, which is VeriSign. Uh, exactly what is a digital signature? Uh, here we get the certificate. We didn't see the signature anywhere. However, uh, the computers can see more details from those uh, gibberishes. So let's see what the computer is doing. Uh, VI Bank of America, let's create uh, their certificate by copy paste. Now we have their signature and um, we can analyze it. Open SSR X509 dash input. Um, this is what the computer see. The computer read more details from that uh, string. First is the identity of that signature uh, of that certificate is this one. So it's never guess and uh, <clears throat> this uh, certificate expire in September 9th. So next month it will expire. This is one of the strategy um, for security. Uh, bank uh, kind of generates a new private key and public key uh, in a short time. So even though they are compromised, uh, the consequence won't be catastrophic. And uh, there's more thing uh, like the modulars. Uh, the public key uh, use this modular to encrypt uh, the traffic. This is a uh, this long string is a parameter the mathematical uh, formula is using. And um, this other information like the uh, policy of the certificate and uh, it uh, have the issuer's identity. The issuer you don't have to guess. Uh, the issuer's certificate have to match uh, this hash. And uh, <clears throat> if the certificate is revoked by the issuer, you can find out from uh, from this URL, or you can automatically detect the revoking uh, with the help of this URL uh, with another computer tool, of course. This is a complex system. The digital signature we mentioned is this one. This is a signature. So how the signature is generated? The issuer use their private key. Okay, only the issuer have their private key to generate the signature with uh, the Bank of America's certificate. So uh, since the signature is generated by the issuer, you can use the issuer's public key to verify it. Of course, with um, with complex uh, mathematical formula. So the, in theory, there's no way to fake the signature once you have the issuer's public key. If uh, you fake the signature, the uh, issuer's public key will find out and um, detect it. Uh, this signature uh, bearing process is not uh, unique to um, the Bank of America. Even the issuer itself bury a signature from the VeriSign. So let's find it. Um, let's do a CA dot CRT. Let's create uh, the, a file um, having the content of issuer certificate and let's examine it. X509 dash in CA. And uh, <coughs> as you can see, it also bury a signature. And the signature is signed by uh, VeriSign, okay, and expire at October 2023. This is quite stable because uh, it's an uh, um, intermediate uh, uh, CA. And uh, you see, only the VeriSign's public key can verify this signature. The semantics uh, uh, signature generated uh, with the uh, VeriSign's private key from its certificate. And uh, you see the trust uh, passed down. VeriSign sign uh, semantic, semantic sign the uh, Bank of America as if the VeriSign directly signed the um, Bank of America. <clears throat> 